welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Warsong. My name is Zuljin, and last time we left off, we had finished up Scenario 6, taken back our castle, and now on to Scenario 7. A brave man of the fortress, Balch's defense fortress, Anzul was attacked by Python's army. Garrett advances to save his men. Win condition is Bayard's rescue, defeating Momus, lose death of Bayard or Garrett, or and Garrett, uh, but I believe it's or. Uh, looks like the opposition is pretty tough. Let's see. Select the leader. Play us. Oh, we already did select the leader. Okay. Garrett is up first. We're going to give... Let's see. Garrett... I believe Horseman would benefit Garrett really well since he's going to be the first line. He can, he can run around the side. If I remember this scenario correctly, we're going to need some movement. Uh, he's already at max level, so if he doesn't get a whole lot of, not max level, but max um, promotion, so if he doesn't get a whole lot of experience, it's okay. He'll get along the way. We really want to focus on Sabre. Sabre needs to get uh, higher as quick as possible. Sabre and Calais is what I'm going to work on first, mostly. So let's give Sabre some archers, and we're going to do Calais with Guardsmen. going to give Mina Guardsman as well. Not much of a choice with these two. Um, Tiburon is going to get Mermin. And Thorn is going to get regular soldiers. And we're actually going to put Thorn leading the pack. <laughs> uh, let's do some items here. So we definitely want to give Tiburon the shield. Uh, he needs the defense for his Mermin since they're so low on defense but so high on offense. The cross is going to go to Mina, and we're going to do the Greatsword on, I think Sabre would be a very, very good candidate for the Greatsword. Um, the good thing about Mermen, which we're going to be fighting a lot of, is their defense is really, really low, so archers are going to stand good for her, and when we do run into that cavalry, it's going to be pretty strong. Um, so let's see here. We want... Thorn to lead the pack here. We're going to want Garrett all the way on the outskirts because he's going to be able to take a road in. Calais is going to back up uh, Tiburon, which is going to be right on the water here. And let's see. And Sabre is going to follow up. Mina is going to probably just back up as well. And let's go. troops that you just saw, and here we go. We still aren't giving up. Go, go, get them all. Yes, sir. They're really tough. Our numbers are so few, we're sure to be defeated. I know, I won't allow that kind of talk. <laughs> you said I know that. <laughs> the prince will be here soon with the reinforcements. We mustn't give up until then. Who is defending Ansel? The troops are led by Baird, your highness. They are fighting well. Attack the enemy and try to scatter their troops. Alright. So, let's start by changing up the command to... Let's change it to move for now. And we are going to try to cover as much ground as possible. With cavalry, we will be able to move at a pretty, pretty incredible speed here. Um, let's see. Mina, I believe Tiburon should probably be up first here, and I think I'm going to follow in with Calais along with these guys here. Let's see, I moved Tiburon already, I need to change to defense. Let's go ahead and move. Good old Thorn. Sabre is going to move behind him, and we're going to go command defense as well, to make sure there's nothing really, really close. Calais is going to go ahead and move as well, and we're going to change her to defense. Not ready to change her to defense. Yes, I did. And last but not least, Mina. And Mina is just going to follow up here. 
think that would be a good move because Garrett might need it. I'm not too sure what's going to happen, but we won't have too much opposition here on the forefront. Not to my knowledge, at least. It can always be an ambush, but uh, these guys are probably going to make it to the side here and hit up Thorn's guys. And by the time we get here, Thorn will be pretty weakened, but Saber's going to be able to back up. So we'll see how that goes. Now let's go ahead and end the phase. Let everybody move. Should be a pretty interesting battle. Baird is actually going to be attacking, well, he's going to be getting attacked by those troops up top. And um, he has some longevity, but it's pretty pertinent that we get the move on. He can die, so we've got to be real careful with that. I think we will prep for it, though. It's going to take a little while before Garrett's into action, but once he does, it's going to be pretty crazy. Garrett doesn't play around anymore. He's come a long way. These guardsmen are going to be kind of like sacrificial because they're going to die pretty easy to these mermen, but we'll be able to get some experience with them really important that we get a couple levels on each of those and get them to the next promotion so they can be effective. Calais is going to be something extraordinary sooner or later, and so will Mina. Straight down. Lead them into the water. Don't try to fight them from land. It's a disadvantage for us. And <laughs> these troops aren't listening to us. And just like them, we get the same kind of benefits from the water as they do. Which is good. They're all over land, which is fantastic for us. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to charge in with Mina a little bit and get her some action. See how they have light blue hues and dark blue hues of the water. The dark blue um, symbolizes deep water, which is incredibly hard for any any unit to cross that isn't um, a water mobile like a merman or a lizard man. Luckily, he actually has soldiers, and he's pretty evenly matched here. Um, level 4, and he's level 6. The stats are the same for those guys, but um, I believe the, um, the archers below him are a little bit stronger. Yeah, these guys right here could prove to be a little worse for them since they're level 9. definitely have height advantage too, but a lot of that surrounding area is the mountains, so they really need to do their best to get on those walls.
scary. She took way more damage than I wanted her to take there. Let's go ahead and save her. <laughs> Level 7. Perfect. Yeah, she'll be able to get some experience. Tip's gonna get in the water. Let's make this right. Let's go ahead and draw a little bit of that attack away from it. A little bit of the potential threat away from Glaeus. Not bad, not bad. Tiburon has a unique promotion called the Crocodile Knight. Um, I mean, he is a crocodile. Yeah, he's a serpent knight right now. I mean, he's a crocodile right, knight right now, and he can go to Serpent Knight, but we're not going to move him into Serpent Knight because it's more or less useless. It, it really is. Um, it's a cool promotion, but he's just he's going to do so much better as another class, so that's the route that we're going to go with him. And let's see where Thorn's at. Let's go ahead and move Thorn in. Let's see. Oh, these are soldiers. I was thinking that guys will be on us faster than that. I think probably ought to move Thorn down right here. And let's do some manual movement too. And let's get Saber up in the pack because those guys are going to be all over us with those horsemen. And um, Saber's just going to chop through those guys like Swiss cheese. Good that he's taken for those walls. Wow. Lord just kind of put it on him right there. Oh, that's not a good move. Wow. Never a good move. At least he didn't totally annihilate, so they'll have to take a turn to beat that unit. Need a move for guardsmen. See what these guys do. I knew that was going on. See, that's a serpent knight. She's kind of playing recover here. It's kind of 
kind of good that they're weakened a little bit like that, like those eights. That means um, that uh, the guardsmen have a better chance against them. In the water, not really. So as long as they're in the water, we'll probably do most of our damage with Tiburon. He made it up to the front line, though. It was a hard soldier. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this other guy has in store. Looks like he's trying to heal a little bit. Let's see here. We'll move in and let her auto move after the turn is up. What can we do about this situation here? Calais first of all needs to treat. Actually, magic would probably do really, really good too. Let's go ahead and do that. Wow, nice. So she gained a level from that. And she didn't treat, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and finish these, this guy off. Come on, Tiburon. What the heck is wrong with you, dude? Just to get their heal on. Um, 
Yeah, might as well just kill him. That Serpentine by himself is gonna be pretty dangerous. As y'all saw earlier. That's it. That. Um, okay, we have to draw these guys out. Really have to. So let me go ahead and put Thorn right here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna draw these guys out if I can. I want to give him a little bit of bait. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice a little bit and put him right next to the water. But I think it'll be worth. Not the smartest thing to do defensively, but I really want these guys to come down and attack Thorn. It's worth a little bit of sacrifice to bait them properly. As far as Saber goes, Saber's just gonna clean some house right quick. Probably not the best thing to do that. Well, I think it'll be alright. those two would have found their mark. <laughs> yeah, he's attacking with sevens, that's never good. He didn't do bad though. He's running out of troops fast. We need to get Garrett over there ASAP. Actually, staying in 8's not the worst thing in the world that could be happening because he will not treat if he's at 8. He will at 7, but, and we drew him in. Good, 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 good. Bring it. Bring it, you freaking lizards. See how strong they are on the water? They really, really just dominate. But, when they're out of the water, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I drew him. 
lost a couple of troop uh, units, but we can just stay put. You see, they're gonna come on land now. Ouch. That's not too good. <laughs> on land, good deal. I think we did real, real good so far this scenario. I'm very pleased with our progress. And Baird is doing good holding his own. Still not out of the woods though, for sure. Garrett still has got a ways to go. We got quite a bit left to move, but once we get on this bridge, we're in the home stretch to get to these guys. Um, looks like we have um, a good little deal here with Thorn, a good little deal here with Sabra. And um, Mina is going to be flying up the back real soon here. Calais and Tiburon should be able to put an end to this guy. And all in all, guys, we're doing pretty good. Uh, next time we come back, we'll um, we'll see where it takes us, and we'll find out if Beard survives and if Garrett's army can prevail. Next time on War Song. Thanks so much for watching. This is Lil Jin signing off. Have a good one. Whoa.